Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. In this video, I'll demonstrate making homemade gravy without the chemical additives found in gravy mixes and prepared gravies. The recipe in this video doesn't use milk, so there's no concern about lactose intolerance. This mix also contains chemical additives not found in homemade gravies. While 14 ingredients may seem excessive, a popular jarred gravy has 20 ingredients. Out of the 20 ingredients, only 8 ingredients are used in home cooking. This recipe makes about 1 cup, but you can double or halve the recipe depending on your needs. For a medium thick gravy, you'll need 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil or 2 tablespoons of butter. 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, it can be bleached or unbleached. Whether you like your gravy thick or thin, maintain a 1 to 1 ratio of oil to flour. For gluten-free gravy, substitute cornstarch, arrowroot, tapioca, or rice flour. For the best flavor, use the juice from roasting beef, chicken, or pork. You can also use homemade or canned broth or stock. For mushroom gravy, add 3 or 4 mushrooms depending on size and chop or slice the mushrooms as desired. If you're using low sodium stock, you may need to add salt to taste, and you can add pepper to taste if desired. Using pan drippings can produce a gravy that's high in fat and saturated fat. The amount of fat will depend on the type of meat and its fat content. When roasting very lean cuts of meat, it's not as critical removing the fat. Fat provides flavor and fat-soluble vitamins like A, E, and K. While you can skim off a lot of the fat while the drippings are still liquid, I refrigerate the juice for later use and can easily remove most of the fat. This concentrated pork juice has the consistency of gelatin. Less than a minute on full power returns it to a liquid and since it's less than one cup, I add water to bring it up to one cup. On low heat, heat the oil or melt your butter. Stir in the flour and cook about one minute to remove the flour flavor. If you're using arrowroot, tapioca, or rice flour, add it at this time. If desired, you can cook the roux longer, but stir constantly to avoid burning. For mushroom gravy, Add the mushrooms at this time and stir it into the roux. Stir constantly about one minute. Add your liquid, increase the heat to medium, and cook stirring until the mixture thickens. If your gravy is too thin, you can add a teaspoon of cornstarch dissolved in a tablespoon of water. If you're substituting cornstarch for flour, dissolve it in cold water and add it to the mixture once it comes to a simmer. And keep in mind that gravy thickens as it cools. Add salt and pepper if desired and serve. A one quarter cup serving made with pan drippings has about 40 calories, 25 calories from fat, about 120 milligrams of sodium making it low sodium, and 2 grams of protein. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.